How beautiful, deep divers, the sun just decided to come out as I'm making this video. That's a good omen. That's a good sign. That's a confirmation. Every little thing is going to be okay. Everything is going to be all right. I hope so, Ralph. Trust, deep divers. <laughs> Because after every dark night, there's a brighter day. And let's face it, it seems like dark days on the planet. A global pandemic, confusion everywhere, festivals, stampedes happening. So much is happening around the world. People frustrated because of the green pass. So much is happening around the world. But I'm here to tell you, deep divers, if you are watching this video, you are going to get through this. Why? Because we are ascending. And the great ascension is beginning. The entering of the fifth dimension is happening as I'm speaking. You see, with great suffering comes great awakenings. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And that's exactly what's happening. Breathe with me, deep divers. That's beautiful. One more time. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Raising the frequency. What are we doing? Raising the vibration. Sending you all. Take that, take that, take that. Good ass energy. One love to all of you deep divers. So we are ascending. The great ascension is beginning. We are entering the fifth dimension collectively. Now, I was doing the live stream and someone wrote, we are ascending. And I said, absolutely. Great things happen when people come together with the same heart, the same mind, the same intentions. When people come together and they want to make the world a better place, mountains move. This is what's happening right now. And this is why I do these open talks, the live streams, because I want to see how many other deep divers are entering the fifth dimension? How many other deep divers are ascending? And let me tell you, it's a whole lot of us and we've got a whole lot to talk about. It's great to see so many people right now are starting to wake up. So many people right now are starting to say, we've had enough. We want more. We want a heightened state of living. We want a better way of living because being free is our birthright. It's happening right now. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? Someone sent me a message there like, Ralph, how do we enter the fifth dimension? So I'm going to dive into that a bit. We are ascending. <laughs> the great ascension is beginning and it's happening because we are entering the fifth dimension. The age of Aquarius is upon us. And this is why it feels like the end. Because what feels like the end is nothing more than a new beginning in disguise. For the butterfly to be born, the caterpillar has to die. And that's what's happening to humanity. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. If you have a question or a message for me, make sure you add me on Instagram at Ralph Smart. You see, to enter the fifth dimension, we have to choose love over fear. Always. And we have to know what time we're on. I'm on angel time. But much of humanity are born into demon time. And demon time is... The time when you are consumed by your ego. Being on demon time is all about deceit, manipulation, greed, 
Being on angel time is about love, compassion, elevation. So if you want to enter the fifth dimension, make sure you are on angel time. Make sure you remind yourself when you stare at your beautiful, when you stare at your beautiful face in the mirror, you say, if it's not helping me evolve, it's a distraction. Now, before I made this video, Deep Divers, two people came up to me. They're like, Ralph, we started to talk and it was beautiful. This wonderful feeling of connection, talking to real people. And this shows me we are ascending. We are evolving. We are elevating and that the great ascension is beginning. And this is us entering the fifth dimension because we are now reminding ourselves who we really are. You see, things were designed to be used. People were born to be loved. The problem with the world is that things, iPhones, things are being loved and people are being used. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. The fifth dimension is where people are being loved and things are being used. So when I greeted these people who came to me today before I made this video, we had a great conversation. Love energy was here. I reminded myself the power of community. I have a deep divers community, like minds coming together, reminding themselves of who they really are, multidimensional beings having a human experience. This is why we are ascending. You see, it had to get bad on the planet for people to wake up because through great suffering comes great awakening. This global pandemic forced people to wake up. It forced people to go inside of themselves and say, wait a minute, did I really come here for this? To wear a face mask 24-7? To live in fear 24-7? I've had enough. And when you get sick, and tired of being sick and tired, great things happen. And that's where we are right now on the planet. Right now, people are realizing the caterpillar is dying. Do you know when a caterpillar dies, it goes? When a caterpillar dies, it goes through a process of apoptosis, which is cellular death but it has a few cells called miracle cells who actually become the genetic, they become the genetic directors of the caterpillar and now a butterfly is born. We are going through the great metamorphosis and this is why we are ascending. All of this had to happen for us to really remind ourselves that we have been lied to, we have been deceived from birth. We are born into this 3D matrix. And if you want to enter the fifth dimension, you have to vibrate higher. You have to outgrow the system. I have, other people have. And that's why some people are already in the fifth dimension doing a little samba, baby. In the fifth dimension, you choose how you feel. I'm choosing love today. I'm choosing to feel alive today. I'm not playing with a card that was dealt. I'm choosing my own card from the deck. In the fifth dimension, anything is possible because instead of feeling like a victim of circumstance, you now remind yourself you are a co-creator of your own reality. This is where the great awakening begins. We are ascending. The great ascension is beginning. Because many people are now starting to realize this medical apartheid can no longer continue. This separation between people can no longer continue. Because you are only as strong as people around you. There's a reason why our ancestors lived in communities. Because everyone took care of each other. The problem with the world is that everybody is for themselves. And this is why people are suffering. People are now waking up to the fact that actually, I'm all so lonely. It's no fun. 
In a world of 7.8 billion people, nobody should feel lonely. Because we came here to be loved and to love. And that's the fifth dimension mindset. So we are ascending because by me sharing with the world, I'm seeing that the awakening is going mainstream. 1984 was not a book. It was a documentary. 1984 was not a book. It was a documentary of what is happening right now. They are turning this matrix into a larger prison for you. They are turning this society into Orwellian, into an Orwellian nightmare of surveillance, green passes, where they want to turn a human being into a QR code. And through this, you have to ask yourself, did I come here for this? You see, to enter the fifth dimension, you need to remember who you are. You need to remind yourself why you came here. Did you come here just to survive? Or did you come here to have the most fulfilling life experience? So today is the day, deep divers. Today is the day, deep divers, where we create our own reality, where we come together. You put aside your differences. My country is better than yours. My race is better than yours. These are all constructs used to keep you in the 3D box. In the fifth dimension, all of that disappears because you now see the interconnectedness between everything around you. That ultimately oneness is the truth. Separation is the ego, the greatest trap that has got so many people stuck in hell. Now, I told you, the youth have been misguided through the musical frequencies. And in the fifth dimension, conscious artists make music to help the masses wake up. They are on angel time. And that might be you. Remind yourself, you can do the right thing. You can choose to inspire people, which is angel time, or you can choose to deceive people, which is demon time. I chose angel time. And this is how you enter the fifth dimension. Every single day, you strive for evolution. You strive for knowing who you really are. That's why on every temple in ancient Egypt or Kemet, it said, know thyself and you will come to know the secrets of the universe. We have to know ourselves better. It's no longer cool to be ignorant. They told you ignorance was strength. That's the 3D. The 5D, the fifth dimension, is where ignorance is death. People are dying for a lack of knowledge. We are ascending because we are now reminding ourselves every single day, we are here to learn. We are here to get out of the trap. We are here to take back our freedom, take back our power, take back our peace of mind. And it's happening. Seven day vegan challenge. We are here to eat, to live every single day. We are here. Ultimately, to share with one another. Now, we are ascending because millions of people are getting the wake up call. Oh my gosh, now my work requires this, this, booster shots, this, this. And people for the first time are saying, actually, I've got to do for self. In the fifth dimension, you learn you can't just be dependent on the system. You have to learn how to be a co-creator, an architect of your own reality. Don't just depend on the supermarket. Say, wait a minute, let me grow my own fruits and vegetables. Let me learn how to work the land. That's what happens in the fifth dimension. You move into sustainable living. It's a choice. What energy do I want to surround myself with? What energy do I want to give my attention to? Do I want to give my attention and energy to lower frequencies or do I want to ascend to my higher self? Do I want to continue tricking people on OnlyFans or do I really 
Do I really want to do what I came here to do and be in my purpose every single day? Now, once again, do whatever you want to do, but ask yourself, is this really what I came here to do? This is how you enter the fifth dimension. And we are all ascending when we choose authenticity over pretending. When we choose living our life over living theirs. When we choose tuning into our world as opposed to tuning into their world. Turn off their TVs because it's all controlled by BlackRock. Turn off their radios and start switching on your mind and your heart and connecting with your fellow peers, fellow kindred spirits, because this is how we create the new world. And then just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers. I don't need 5G because I'm living in the 5D. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And a human being is more important than an iPhone. Human connection is more important than your latest designer clothes. So remind yourself, we are all we have. And this is how we create the new earth. You are appreciated, deep divers. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to all of you who are ascending who have been getting the wonderful good ass Prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you are a sexy, if you are a sexy ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart who wants to model the clothing, well, go and buy some. Add me on Instagram, Deep Divers, for more daily inspiration at Ralph Smart, at official Ralph Smart, and Facebook at Ralph Smart, at Infinite Waters, and Snapchat at good ass Prana, baby. Check out the new book for more powerful, life-changing information just like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book. They tried to bury us deep divers. They forgot we were seeds. They tried to keep us in lockdown. They forgot we had the keys. Right now, the world is ending. The world is ending. These are the end times. And you can choose to get stuck and stay in the 3D prison or you can exit and move to the fifth dimension where love reigns supreme the choice is yours demon time or angel time i'll let you decide have a beautiful day peace infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you age of aquarius flex deep divers in the heart of nature that's the fifth dimension you realize Mother Nature is all we have. When you respect Mother Nature, Mother Nature will respect you. I'm alive. You want me to go live on this topic? Say, go live, Ralph. Peace. 